Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new battling boxer support. I'm actually excited for this deck. It's, uh, you know, the support was announced some time ago, but uh, I still prefer this particular deck. So not pure battling boxers, but with a small like Isolde package, Isolde line, um, and then for noble package. You might have seen it already. I made some small changes compared to the build that I used before some time ago, like adding in Gearfried, the boss, which is searchable, you know, potentially searchable off of Isolde, uh, Dark Ruler over evenly, and some other small changes. So... Um, if you have never played the deck, like the reason why, um, you know, the combination with like battling boxers and the small package of Infernal Knights is made, you know, from Dueling Nexus, um, uh, from, you know, from Duelist Nexus, is because of this. The fact that uh, like any two card combo, uh, warrior combo features Isolde and Isolde is full combo, unhindered, of course. So that's why cross out and stuff like that is there. But again, like this deck has multiple lines leading to Isolde or, you know, you know, force out stuff and, you know, backup Isolde, etc. So, short set, like the, the Isolde line ends on this bar gear free. So, at least one search, like a counter trap search. I think the rank 4 exceed searches the, the counter trap that negates monster effects by tributing a battling boxer on field. You rank 4 exceed. And you have Charles, you know, Charlemagne, also one of the new cards from Duelist Nexus, which, uh, first of all, pops during the opponent's turn, you know, when it's like equipped by, or was equipped by uh, Charles, right? Plus, it negates a spell and trap from your opponent. So, again, really, really solid board. Plus, as you know, like the built-in battling boxers engine has like, you know, extenders for next turn, as you saw, you uh, have like a, a, a double counter trap search if you want. Like one of the new level 4 searches a counter counter trap, so that includes their battling boxer counter trap that negates monster effects. And that's, what is it, the flame veil counter? I think so, that, the one that negates spells and traps. So that's cool, like going pure battling boxers, you could end on like uh, your battling boxer rank 5 for example, enter rank 4, plus double counter trap. So that's, that's kind of nice. The big uh, issue, I guess, with the deck and the new Battling Boxer support is that some of the Battling Boxer cards, they lock you into um, Battling Boxers for the turn. So one of the new ones, this one, Promoter, I believe the name is, it's, just, it's like a combination of Cyber Dragon and Rescue Rabbit. Um, it, it blocks you into uh, uh, Battling Boxers for that turn. So it's not after you use the effect, no, it's for that turn. So as soon as you use one of its effects, uh, is it the grave? No, I don't think it's the graveyard effect that counts, but it's, it's definitely the special summon effect from its hand or from your hand or from the deck. It locks you into, you know, battling boxers for that turn. So the thing is, is that depending on your hand and the extenders you have, I feel most of the time the Isolde line is preferred, simply because you can end on much more, and as in much more, that includes Charlemagne, you know, the one you just saw that negates spells and traps, gives you a pop during the opponent's turn, plus a rank 4 exceed play, you know, for battling boxers, which, you know, turns itself into a monster negation because of the counter trap. So, I prefer that most of the time. The thing is, is that if you know that your opponent might have Ash, well, you know, if, if you don't have answers for an opponent's Ash, it might just be better to, you know, lock you if you have Promoter and lock you into those Battling Boxers play. Like, you know, go for something like this, make sure that you have Glass Jaw in, you know, circulation to send it to the graveyard with its effect, or, you know, it's like popped, etc. Uh, get another add-on and go from there. Uh, my Battling Boxer monsters cannot be targeted, so I guess was this a recovery play? I'm not so sure. Uh, this was definitely recovery play, Baron popping one of the, uh, uh, you know, Menadium tuners. So this setup is kind of okay. You have a Baron for an Omni Negation plus a Trap being also kind of like an Omni Negation. And you have Ash here in the hand. So Glass Jaw, no, not Glass Jaw. What is it? Uh, leading Leak Yoke. Leak Yoke. Uh, is, I feel it's under, um, uh, underestimated. Like it's very similar to Zen Mains when it's some, something like one of your battling boxers is destroyed. Just detach. And I believe Leak Yoke will get like, what is it? 800 attack boost every time it, you know something is detached. So that's really cool. So again, force out stuff. And now I'm able to go for the Isolde line and, you know, we know these plays by now. So again, um, I think the, the I, I guess the additional, you know, at least the benefit for the Isolde line is it gives you like a pop, uh, more negations for potential next turn if you aren't able to go for the OTK. So again, I feel that's preferred over like locking yourself into a promoter play, right? Depends, again, if you have like counters for your opponent's hand traps. So again, one of the newer additions that I added in, in the deck was uh, uh, Gearfried, right? The big boss. 
uh, had it at 2 sometime, at 1. The thing is, is that uh, very similar to uh, uh, Fire Flint Lady, I believe. Uh, just fine as a one-off, searchable off of your, um, what is it, the Durandal uh, equip spell. Plus searchable off of Isolde if you want, and same for Kierfried. So I feel that you don't need to run more copies. Also because of the fact that, you know, something like Promoter and their Debris Dragon also locks you into uh, battling boxers for the turn, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, that kind of conflicts with Gearfried. So uh, I feel it's just fine as a one-off. This is cool. One of the new battling boxers recurring like one of your traps. That's, that's super solid. So actually, like, this battling boxer support, it's actually really nice. It's really solid. Does it make the deck, like, tier 1? No, probably not. But again, it's really solid support. Uh, so again, going first, the deck is still prone to hand traps. So again, like getting it like double hand trapped, like which deck isn't? I mean, there are some you know top tier decks, but uh, double hand trap, uh, that that's really rough. That's really hard. Uh, so I tried to recover, uh, you know, reborn because of yeah, the um, one of the level fours was detached by a card effect, so I can reborn the promoter, and because I used one of the rank fours, my battling box is gonna be targeted by card effects. Go for lead yoke, so again that get that battle protection. That should be okay. I also have another follow I play for next turn, being the Breed Dragon for the Archetype. So Heat Soul hits the field. Uh, another draw, that's not the best. Spinny, another Spinny. So Lead Your Protection also gives it an extra attack boost. The thing now here is I'm faced with a dilemma. Well, I was faced with a dilemma because what is it? Promoter gets uh, gets imperm, so I think that makes things much easier. So I go for the Isolde line. Let's see what, you know if there is protection. I think we know the set is um, you know the Rota for Salads. So I think we have to go for it. If there is a hand trap, we'll see. Well, we now see there is obviously none. So I can again go for the full uh, Isolde line, Isolde package. The thing is, is that, and that was pointed out previously, is that Phoenix Blade is not allowed in the OCG, but we do have it in the TCG. So I still think you need to use it. And the, the, the small um, Infernal one eye package that is there is also one of the new level fours that can equip itself and because of the field spell you can special summon it plus it can reborn itself it's banished you know when it leaves the field but you know you can just use it for any battling boxer exceed so it's fantastic uh, go for damage and go for game yeah this should be more than enough so okay going second this time again sell it's new format um, so let's take a look. Like this hand is okay-ish. Dark Ruler kind of helps me out here in this situation because uh, Bakuska is going to hit the field. And again, like this hand, like just screams that I have to lock myself into the uh, at least into a potential promoter play. So that kind of locks or prevents me from going for the Isolde line. So let's see how it goes. Again, I think I'm forced to use Dark Ruler to, you know, shut down Baguska. Uh, go for the Cyber Dragon Summon of Promoter. Again, get ashed. Like, did it resolve in the video? I'm not so sure. Get impermed on the, you know, the extra, uh, well, extra special summon. Go for the rank 4, get another search. I should be searching the Monster Negator. Again, this is kind of like Luster. I don't think there was any follow-up play here because, again, I'm locked. Uh, I, I can't go for it. Imagine here being able to go for a potential Isolde line. That would, would have been fantastic. But that's not the case. So search Fire Flint for, you know, next turn. Potentially, you know, keeping that... Potential is all the line open. So we'll see. Tag out, I guess, for Lead Yoke, but this is not good news. Uh, Heat Soul getting another draw and going for the Link 4, which I guess searches one of the counter traps, and that's not good. Um, even though Lead Yoke for now it does not have enough attack to attack over the Salaman Great Link, but um, here. I think either play is lost. I could potentially for you know go for yeah. That's my my plan was to you know force out at least go for Isolde and hopefully force out a uh, roar, and then you know gear free hits the field and hope for the best. But obviously that's not the case. Uh, maybe I could have done it other way around, but as you saw, like Ash failure, it didn't really matter. And leaving uh, Yoke on field again wouldn't have mattered because next turn you know the old you just displace and Yoke would not do anything. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, the fact that this is searchable soul charge. <laughs> you know, why should you run more, right? You can you can just uh, search it. And of course, getting access code OTK to double attack and pop. Uh, so that was a bummer, right? Like early game, I lost that one early game. So it is what it is. Last one, uh, going uh, against Volcanics. So okay, Volcanics also got new support. But the problem is, is that if the normal summon gets like Ashed or Veilert, it's very hard for Volcanics to, you know, if it's pure Volcanic to, you know, come back after that with the current support. 
So Sunlight Wolf plus the boss, that's that's okay. That's like uh, potential hand traps. Well, we know one of them is Shell. So that's one unknown card. Uh, and of course, yep, you know, Sunlight Wolf getting back one of the volcanic level 3's trooper, I believe the name is Ent. Uh, the thing is that this is a monster effect negation, but it does not destroy the monster. That, that's like a small bummer. Uh, so I go for another search, Fire Flint, go for Gear Feet first, so I guess make myself sure that I won't get nipped or stuff like that. So go for small amount of damage, and now I should be going for the full Isolde line. Uh, I do get Ashed, will get Ashed in the next couple of moments, and here I think... Um, I don't think there was a reason to use Gear Feet's effect and then, you know, lose the, the boss, right? Again, you don't want to give um, Volcanics that boss back in the graveyard to potentially be summoned later in the duel or during their turn. So we don't want that. So again, the advantage of the Isolde line, and as we've seen before, you can get another pop plus spell and trap negation. So like against that board of the spell and trap phase up, that's superb. Both of them are basically dead. So let's see. Uh, again, the same right. Go for Charles, equip, go for Charlemagne, the Link 1, get another pop. Charlemagne equips Charles from the graveyard, reborn their level 4 Infernal Bone Knight, just fine as a one-off because you can send it to the graveyard. Surge the counter trap that negates monster effects. This equip doesn't make sense. I think that was a small mistake on my part. But it doesn't really matter, the Imperm is dead here in this situation, Trooper is getting negated, plus I still have another pop, so this is more than enough to attack for a game. So big support, really really big support for, um, you know, battling boxers. And again, I'm a huge fan of, you know, combining this deck with other stuff from Duelist Nexus. Uh, so I like it, I really really like it. So suggestions are definitely welcome. Okay, guys, that's it, thanks for watching, feel free to leave a control like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out, peace.